Some factories have giant machines that simply stamp out or mould the cookware, while others use a technique called metal spinning. To make cookware that's safe for food use, the aluminium must be pure, with no other metals mixed in. It all starts with a round aluminium sheet called a blank, where the pot size and company name are stamped onto what will be the bottom of the pot. The blank is clamped onto a lathe and centred against what's called the chuck, a metal mould shaped like the inside of the desired pot. The lathe spins at 2,000 revolutions per minute, whilst the spinning tool, a round wheel made of a special plastic, is guided by computer as it pushes against the chuck, stretching and shaping the aluminium blank. The machine trims off excess aluminium as it rounds the edges. As aluminium is very expensive, the shavings are sent off to be recycled into other products. After the final trim to size, another lathe moves in to take the sharpness off the edge. It's taken four minutes to spin this 32-litre pot. Handle holes are then punched out. Aluminium handles are riveted on. This part is now finished. Items that aren't as large and heavy are spun on a hand lathe. An experienced metal spinner is needed because this trade isn't mechanical science, you've got to have a feel for it. Besides cookware, many other aluminium products are spun on a lathe. This is a light reflector, a round aluminium fixture that surrounds light bulbs in factories, shops and stadiums. When working the hand lathe, the metal spinner uses what's called a scissor tool, it's the equivalent of the plastic wheel on the automated lathe. As the blank spins, he moves the tool further and further down to stretch the aluminium into the right shape. This is a sausage funnel. And this will be the inside tube of a cake tin. The metal worker makes the body of the cake tin on a different lathe, using a variety of tools to get a variety of effects. This beading tool, for example, creates an edge. Almost all metals can be spun, though aluminium and steel are highly malleable metals and provide the best results. So next time your ratatouille burns, don't blame the cookware, just blame the chef. <laughs>